Visiting Luzerne, Switzerland can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be. Here are 13 free and cheap things to do in Luzerne. If we haven't met, we're Jana and Brett, and we love helping you stretch your budget so that you can travel Switzerland with confidence. Luzerne is one of our favorite cities in Switzerland, and there are endless things to do here. Today we're sharing five historic sites to see, four foodie things to taste, and four unique experiences, all that are budget friendly. By the way, these cheap and free experiences are all located within Zone 10 of the Luzerne Transportation Network, which means that if you're an overnight guest here, you can reach all of them for free using the Luzerne Visitor Card. Or by walking, of course. If you've Googled things to do in Luzerne, then you've definitely heard of these first five spots. They're just iconic, and they're free, so naturally we had to include them in this list. But even if you've heard of them, stick around because the final eight items on our list are a bit more off the beaten path. First up are the traditional covered wooden bridges and their unique triangular paintings. Chapel Bridge is like the gateway to Lucerne. It's the oldest and second longest wooden bridge in Europe. But even with its impressive history, we personally like Spreuer Bridge even better. Both bridges are free and are open 24 hours a day, although the water tower near Chapel Bridge is not open to the public. As you walk along the bridges, don't forget to glance up at the interesting triangular paintings and see if you catch on to a theme. Hint, it's death. Now that you've walked along the river, head into the old town of Luzerne to see the famous painted squares. Vine marked is deemed as the prettiest square, even though it used to be a fish market. Hirschenplatz is smaller, but very traditional. Kornmarkt is home to the town hall and clock tower. Kapellplatz centers around a colorful fountain and you can't miss Sternenplatz, the one with all the flames. The nice thing is that all five of these squares are, well, free, but they're very close together so you can wander to all of them in less than 30 minutes. Time to march up to the best preserved defensive wall in Switzerland. The wall itself is 800 meters long and has nine towers. But if you only climb up one tower, we think Manly Term has the best views. This free activity is only open from April 1st to November 1st. But if you're here between November and March, it's still worth walking up to the garden below the Zeitrum clock tower to catch the views over the city, the lake, and even Mount Pilatus. There are two churches we recommend visiting in Lucerne, and the first is the Jesuit church, located right between the two covered bridges. It was the first Baroque religious building in Switzerland, and it just looks really pretty in the background of your photos. And the second is Hofkirche St. Leo de Gar, the parish church of Luzerne. The outside of the building is obviously super impressive, but the real star of the show is the organ because it can mimic the sound of rain. Our final free historical site is the Lion Monument, the most well-known statue in all of Lucerne. More than 1.4 million people visit this peaceful garden every year to admire the lion, which honors the 1,000 Swiss guards who died protecting King Louis XVI of France in 1792. It's a peaceful spot in the middle of the city. But all this contemplation has made me hungry, so let's go eat. Traveling without sampling the local food is like going on vacation without a suitcase. It just doesn't make sense. Actually, traveling without a suitcase sounds pretty cool. So we've narrowed down our list to four cheap but delicious foods to eat in Luzerne. Our first stop I'm super excited about. Just kidding. As you probably know, Swiss cheese is one of the must-try foods in Switzerland. And in Luzerne, we recommend a stop at Has Bar Mettler for their famous Has Hoogli, also known as Ramekin in French-speaking Switzerland or cheese pies in American-speaking Switzerland. In fact, you'll probably smell it before you even reach the shop since it's cooked in an oven just outside. So follow your cheese radar and grab one to go. Before I even introduce the Aspar, let me explain that as translates to edible, so it's not a bad word here. The Aspar prevents food waste by selling day-old sandwiches, salads, and pastries from local shops for approximately 50% off. In reality, one day old leftover food is still perfectly fine to eat, which means you can snag some cheap takeout when you're in Luzerne. You never know what you'll find, but if you go early in the day, there are usually plenty of options. If you have our one-week guide to the Jungfrau region, then you already know about the number one rated dark lager in Europe. Now, you can try another award-winning Swiss beer that's been brewed in Luzerne since 1834. You can reach the Eichhoff Brewery for free with the Luzerne Visitor Card, but a brewery tour is 20 francs per person, which isn't exactly a cheap activity. So thankfully, you can enjoy an Eichhoff beer at restaurants and bars all across the city. 
and this really is a popular local beer. Not long ago, more than 1,600 people toasted each other with an Eikhoff beer at the Luzerne City Festival, and they set a world record. I wasn't here for that, but consider this my belated participation. Cheers to that. Everywhere we travel, I cannot resist finding the best gelato, and this is genuinely the best gelato in Luzerne. It's all natural and handcrafted, and they speak Italian, and it's centrally located right near the Chapel Bridge. I know Switzerland is sometimes expensive, but the prices here are super comparable to my favorite gelaterias in Italy. This small with two flavors was only four franc. If you want to enjoy some of these tasty cheap eats when you're in Luzerne, then hit that like button so we know who our foodies are. As much as we love traveling and exploring, one of our favorite ways to get a feel for a new place is to just head to the edge of the city. And that's how we discovered these next four suggestions for unique, free, and cheap things to do in Lucerne. Let's start with Gooch, because that's one of our favorite spots. First, you get to ride an automated funicular, which is pretty unique. It takes 90 seconds to deliver you up at Gooch, and the ride is free with your visitor card. Right away, you'll notice a few things. You can see far beyond the rooftops of Luzerne. There's a stunning castle hotel that probably reminds you of Disney, and you can't help but feel invited into the forest. We love coming up here to take a stroll through the forest or to sit at the hotel bar for a drink. Either way, Gooch is a great escape from the hustle of the city. But if water is more your thing, you will love this peaceful oasis right next to the city. Rotsi can be reached by bus, where it's just a 30 minute walk from town or an even shorter 15 minute walk from the Lion Monument. The six and a half kilometer path around the lake is a great spot for walking or jogging. And there's even a small ferry that crisscrosses the lake from April to October. Calling all castle lovers, don't skip Meganhorn. It's modeled after Chateau de Chambord in the Loire Valley of France, except it's beautifully set in the hills above Lake Luzerne. You can only go inside the castle on Sundays, although there's a bistro open on the weekends and the grounds are free to visit year round. It's just a 15 minute bus ride from Luzerne, but it can also be reached by boat, although the boat ride is not included in your Luzerne visitor card. If you just can't get enough of views like these, then you will not want to miss Birkwald. This secluded wooded area is nestled between the mountains and the lake. And when you're here, it's hard to believe you're just one bus ride and a short walk away from the city. If you're up for a long stroll, you can visit Birkwald, walk down to the lake, and then all the way back to Luzerne in under two hours. Or multiple bus stops along the lake offer the chance to shorten the walk. There's a lot more to traveling with confidence than just knowing about these cheap and free things to do in Luzerne. Here are two more videos to help you with your Swiss vacation planning and to stretch your budget at the same time. So watch those next and we'll see you in Switzerland.